Hello, one and all. Here we have a um, new. Uh, ooh, what's this? It's Fallout 3 again. I haven't done one of these in a while. It's Mothership Zeta Crew, which adds a new faction and stuff and dead aliens. This is a faction, you get armors, crests, weapons. All you have to do is click, click this little button. Boop! I scratch your back. Boop. Okay, distress call. You know, it would be helpful if I did that. Man, you don't get a stupid echo. Um, I do have God Mode on. I'll be using that just for a little bit because. I think my character's over encumbered. Well, he was a couple minutes ago. And I want to keep all my stuff because I am a hoarder. And so we go over here. Because so I think my character's overweight. <laughs> I can't see anything. How far away is this? If it's miles away, I don't want to walk. Let's put it as that. No, it's not that far. I'll walk there. Plug that in. Oh, I forgot to do something. And then back, I forgot to, um, well, update. What's it called? What's it called? Forgot to update. Um, bu, 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 bu. Script extender. I just need to unplug this again. Right then. Now you won't get an echo. See? Always thinking about the users. Not the users. Viewers. I don't want you to suffer from some horrible echo. Instead, you suffer from my crappy videos. Slash head shake. Yeah, so I did a cut. Well, a, yeah, doesn't call it a cut. Mm -hmm. And then I put a skip twist in on. And then I walked to the, the the crest place. And then I hit zero, which starts recording. Then I started talking to you. And then I unplugged my speakers. Now I'm turning them off. I'm waiting for the game to load. Okay, and that was the loading screen when then on for an hour, and so I just cancelled it. Ooh, bad guys. Shit. Fuck. Um, 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 um,
are you supposed to do this and live without using cheats? I'm gonna touch Mike. That's gonna sound horrible for you all. My Mike's falling again. I might just get some solid tape and stick it to my face. supposed to do this. Seriously. Come on. This is, this is a near impossible. Two behemoths and just about everything else in the world is spawned here. My ear feels weird now that there's no sound of them boarding into it. Well, I'm going to do a cut while I sort out my headphone, the headset, whatever you want to call it, because it keeps slipping. Mm, die, headset, die! And in the night, there was silence. But what broke the silence was what I am seeing right now. Click, click, click. Nope. Not working. B I N G O. B I N G O. And Bingo was his name. Why doesn't this door work? I mean, one of the behemoths have something of importance. Nope. Nope. I don't get it. I'm going to have to guess that <coughs> Oop, let's take god mode off um, yeah so 
So I don't know why that's not working. I'm guessing you're supposed to click on machinery controls and, and it works. And then the store opens. Oh, glad we fixed that though. What do you do? It's I'm going, going to keep calm for the after charge shooting. You don't have to worry about that. We are not subject to the presidential command. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> We've had our differences with the high command. You could say we are no longer an official part of the enclave. Ah, I see. Defectors. We are not defectors. We stand true to the enclave vision. We want to restore order to this land. But Autumn's methods are too extreme. He's managed to turn all the local residents against us. His action don't respond to any kind of logic. What about the president? The president. I hate to admit it, but charismatic as he is, he's just a <coughs> robot. These are all nice words, but the orders we get from Autumn are all a different matter. We couldn't even contact him. We've had enough. And so you and this small group of officers left the enclave alone? Oh no. There's a large number of visiting voices in the enclave, and I had my big share of influence. After a careful selection of troops, I managed to take my full company with me. We are about 200. They have answered our distress call, and are heading away as we speak. Don't worry, you're completely safe among us. Who said we left unnoticed? The Enclave is hunting us down. We expected to join the Brotherhood of Steel, but... There are a bunch of soul-centered fanatics who trust no one out of their ranks. And my voice has just changed from sentence to sentence. As last sentence, I forgot to read it out. Quite summed it up, yes. So, we now find that both the presidential faction of the Enclave and the Brotherhood of Steel after us. I've led my troops out of the enclave, only to be left with nowhere to go. I have failed them, their commanding officer. This seems a bit too conventional for my taste, but I might have a way out for you. Indeed. The only thing that could help us now is to vanish from the face of Earth. Interesting choice of words. That is exactly what I have to offer. Beg your pardon? I don't think I really follow. I'd like to come guard. Yes! I got it right. Yes. May I interest you in becoming a god? A god? I didn't have a clue of what those words meant. I was about to reject the offer, leveling it as a product of madness, but something, perhaps desperation, pushed me forward. What I saw left me speechless. A starship, a formidable fortress city beyond the reach of corruption and protected from the pain and misery that had rained upon our beloved country. We named our new home, the Olympus. Once we got this station fully operational again, we would be able to forge a new destiny for all of mankind from above the skies. Secretly, yet diligently, we started our recruitment task. The most brilliant minds would be offered the place into our ranks. We were not the Enclave, nor the Brotherhood of Steel but something entirely new. We'd call ourselves the Terran Starship Command. Six months later, brought to you by the commanders of Awesomeness.
Oh, a lot like one of those um, policemen. You know, that they, they go around and they go to those bars. You know what happens in those bars. Scary stuff happens in those bars. Um. Alright, I'm going to do a cut here, I'm going to kill all these aliens, destroy them from the face of this ship, and then I will play back and I will also clean out my inventory. So, be right back again. Oop, oh, just got spoken to. Give me a status report. During your absence, you have continued our ship fencing, repair and exploration duties, just as you requested. Perhaps there are still a few remnant aliens on board. But that will soon be taken care of. Ah, it's for the restoration. Well, you'll have to talk to lose the mission upon it. There seems to be a problem with the door locks and the teleport. We have lost access to most of the ship decks. There's quite a large number of crew members isolated from the crew quarters and... Well, the little mission will free one Where well, can I find him? Be careful down there. It's a bit messy. Oh god. If my crew never had an orgy and they, and they didn't invite me, I'll cry. Oh, we'll go and talk to him. Of course not. We'll be right here for anything you need. Commencement! Clean up! Okay, so I did the clean up, then I couldn't remember where I was told to go, and I found him somehow after going through about 5 million different teleporters. Hmm. Onwards with the voice acting. After I set up my microphone. I've been told there's been a problem with the doors and teleporters. My voice has suddenly changed again. Oh yeah, that's it. Well, you see, there wasn't a maintenance to which it would have You see, they didn't properly call out a platform before opening the lid. Yup, me mama. Yup, me mama. Yup, four in the morning. Come. Oh. What do we have to do? Uh, I can't remember. Because I spoke to him. Because I, I spoke to him and then I left and my headphone is falling again. Generator. 
Yeah, you know which one I mean. Which one do you act and do you act the way? No, I didn't mean that, Commander. I'm sure it was absolutely necessary. Anyway, you don't know much about that, right? You'll have to talk to the science about that. Well, I don't know. I don't know much about that. Well, you and the other survivors made a pretty good job at dragging these planes apart. Anyway, we are using the experience for telling the area to learn everything we can about this inner walking doctor machine. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Looking at the cold water in the past is not a happened to it. It's a cold water fine right now. It poses no threat to the ship, I assure you. So, I don't know what to do. Alright, alright, it's that teleporter thing. I remember something about a teleporter. Not the hangar. Stupid, st stupid me. Oh, every time I move my face, my headphone falls out my ear. I'm getting some new ones soon anyway. And so I must show no facial expression I wonder because I didn't go here if I just rushed through the thingy for the aliens will spawn I don't know. Ah, oh, I did a facial expression. I'm uh, it's falling out. Well, I'm gonna cut this until I. Yeah, I'm gonna cut this until I find the way where I need to go. I found it. I finally found the big teleporty room after literally two hours. I spent two hours wandering the ship. Is this a room of magnificently coloured haired people or something? Where's that one scientist I just talked to? I'm sure there's like a certain scientist, not just generally named SCIENTIST! I'm sure there would be a certain one. So I have no idea where to go. This video is going to be called the video with the ah ah. Hey there. Nope. video is going to be called video of the most cuts in the entire universe because guess what we're going to cut again in a minute because I don't know what to do let's go here not been here yet You may serve me with telling me where to go. Ah, nerd rage. Ooh, what's through here? Living quarters. Let's I. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Give it a lick. Mmm, it tastes like raisins. The stroke of its mane as it turns into a plane and then it turns back again when you took on its winky Ooh, that's dirty, don't you think so? Well, I better not show you all the lemonade is made Sweet lemonade, mm, sweet lemonade Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do 
get on my own I'll take you around the universe And all the other places too I think you'll find that the universe Pretty much covers everything Shut up, let on? get on my horse Sir, yes sir You sir. didn't find me a lot, did you? No You I have a report from one of our science teams. They seem to have found something interesting down on the angles. They insisted to make a demonstration for you, Commander. They had something about supplies. You might want to check. Finally! Something to do! Yes! Something to do! F fucking finer fucking fucky fucky fuck Lee. So I spent three hours walking about for the game to crash. <laughs>